Sports Road to the Final Four makes a late season stop at Chrysler Center in Ann Arbor, Michigan. This bitter rivalry between the Spartans of Michigan State and the Wolverines of Michigan. As we enter the home stretch of Big Ten play, State and Michigan tied in the loss column. Michigan State has played one more game, but this one filled with significance. Good afternoon, everybody. Bern Lundquist along with Bill Raftery. The injuries have been the theme for Michigan State all year long. They do get Keith Appling back in the starting lineup today. Adrian Payne missed seven, but Billy's come on recently. Great to be with you, and of course, great for Tom Izzo to have Adrian Payne back. Outstanding performer in so many aspects of the game, Burn. A great field for when to attack. You can see his elevation and finish. Step out, makes threes. A great understanding offensive rebounding. Touch, I don't know what you do, whether you go big or small against him, he is very tough. Well, All-American Trey Burke, the guard is in the NBA now. His mom and dad are here, so they'll watch as we will, the freshman guard, Derek Walton. And I think they're gonna enjoy watching him play. He's grown as the year has progressed. A great feel and understanding as well to run a team, leadership qualities, confident with the stroke, to put it on the deck and finish or find. And they've got some perimeter people who can fill it up. But in the open floor, he is tougher. And Bill, now let's take a look at the AT&T fast analysis. I think the big thing is a lot of movement, a lot of attacking the rack, ball screen by Michigan State, put it on the deck, turn the corner. If the defense doesn't address, go all the way. If they do step up, a little slip pass and a strong finish at the 10. And of course, conversely, perimeter precision. Whether it's ball movement, offensive rebounds, early transition, Michigan is so dangerous. And this guy in particular, a jam out of Canada. Stauskas with the delivery, eight feet of room, nothing but money. And Nick Stauskas hand five threes in a Michigan win back in January. We'll return to Chrysler Center right after these messages. CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. AT&T, the official sponsor of the NCAA. AT&T, rethink possible. And by Bud Light, it's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. Six seconds, Lucas fires for the win. He got it! He got it! Three to shoot, two, a leader, off the glass. give you our own version of the spoiler alert. Don't uh, be surprised if we have a close ball game today. And let's give you the lineups on the left. Michigan State, Keith Appling's back. Gary Harris, Denzel Valentine, Adrian Payne, and Matt Costello. And for the Wolverines, it's the freshman Walton, Nick Stauskas, Harris LeBert, Len Robinson III, and Jordan Morgan. Officiating crew, Terry Weimer, Gene Sterator, and Mike Eads. And we're underway, second meeting of the season between these two. Michigan won in East Lansing a month ago, 80 to 75. And Vernon Lundquist, that is a nice ring. Michigan goes. I missed that. Ah, I missed you. Opening possession. Michigan State off one of its most impressive wins of the year. They used the outside shot in hammering to do the other night. 13 threes in the first half, and they start beautifully. They, they run so many nice things. They had a double screen to one side, a pin down, and the ability to knock shots down so important. Stuss gets laid on the cover on Valentine. Just inside the arc, so that was a two instead of a three. And see the uh, Wolverines under 10 turnovers per game. Michigan State is protecting the ball well this year, as well as they ever have under Tom Izzo. Robinson. I like the aggressiveness, though. That's what they need. Morgan knocks it out. I think the big thing this week, Michigan able to work on their offense, Farn. 19th season at Michigan State. Tom Izzo, he's already in early game form. <laughs> I've got Cora Septic with me today, slight cold. I told Tom yesterday, if he needs to borrow a swing or two, He's more than welcome. He'll need it more than you, I think. Uh, he's already horse. This is a legit rivalry. Both programs at extraordinary levels. Nice kick out. Looked like an open three. It wasn't. Valentine misses. 
That will be Michigan ball. In his seventh season as the head coach at Michigan, John Beeline got his team to the championship game last year. They lost to Louisville. John says, no, I don't think about it much. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he does. I don't believe, believe him. With the offseason, both teams concerned about transition because they can knock down open jumpers in that early offense. Harris Levert, number 23. Gets great. it over to Robinson. Great off the bounce, Levert, too. A lot of ball screens for him. Staskis has to keep active. That's Beautiful what they need. entry pass. That was Walton, the freshman. The pick was gorgeous. And Staskis' activity. How about this deep one? Payne hit his first three at Purdue the other night. He misses his first in this ball game. That's, what makes, that's what makes him a load, Vern. He can make that deep one and post up as well. Stauskas was open for a fraction of a second. Here's Morgan. Strong move. And a foul on Costello. Wow. That's like one of the guards. Uh, they tweaked this offense. And this particular play shows you why. Give the ball up. We're going to get a nice little bump here in Stauskas' activity. And you mentioned Walton on the money with the delivery. It's all about setting your man up. The little step left. And Stauskas out of Canada. One of the finest. Redshirt senior Jordan Morgan at the line, 66% for the year. He'll shoot one more. But he works the game, doesn't he, that guy? Oh, full of energy, that football mentality. Brought the basketball. Gavin Schilling off the bench for Michigan State. He's a true freshman. A lot of potential. Absolutely wide by. You can hit the high slips on a ball screen. Nice looking stroke. Good looking prospect. And Matt Costello, who was pulled after that defensive lap, is still getting an earful from Tom Izzo. Nice drive. That's Adrian Payne, one more. How about that? He can be a real pain, making threes and putting it on the deck like that. Adrian, yo, to the tin. You know, you've got to be a certain age to appreciate what you just said, <laughs> Rocky. Well, I've been at that museum in Philly, too. Well, you were there yesterday. Exactly. You go to the museum, but how about this guy at 6'10", able to do that? That's extraordinary. Well, you just pointed out, he can shoot it from outside and take it to the basket strong, misses the free throw. And yeah, the one thing about him, he got no silly foul, so they can keep him on the floor. Yeah, he had 23 points in 22 minutes the other night because of foul trouble. Mm -hmm. He's in that win at Purdue. Robinson, here's Stauskas, the Canadian. Mississauga. Nice look here. Beautiful. Morgan, too far underneath. Adrian Payne, no numbers. Kicks it right side. Valentine underneath, got a man. Well, that's, that's Schilling. Well, that's the one thing about Valentine. He's got that point forward mentality. Finds people, Vern. Gavin Schilling, a freshman, lists his hometown in Chicago. Graduated from Finley Prep, but he's had four coaches in four schools in the last three years, including this season. Here's Born Levert. In Born in Germany, raised in France, by the way. A little bit like you. But yeah. Well, culture. I got that Swedish and Norwegian down. <laughs> Eight on the shot clock. With Levert. the bounce. With the bounce, he's tough. Good D by Valentine. Up and under. No. Bad miss. Payne into the corner. Valentine and back outside. Once again. Payne. No. Loose ball. Stauskas brings it back for Michigan. Uh, Payne's got to finish that terrific move. Jumper Stauskas, no. Three on three. Valentine slows it down. You can see the pressure Michigan State can put on you getting back. Harris with the clean look. Knock it down. Mark it. Gary Harris was six of nine from outside in that win over Purdue. And that kind of put the plug in the shooting slump. But he was brilliant the other night. Mm -hmm. Seven unanswered now for the Spartans. Nice find, Walton underneath. Well, much, Reverse layup. Much busier, Vern. This is Michigan basketball right now. They've gotten away from it. 9-6. Valentine kicks it back outside. Appling missed three games with a wrist injury. 
came back off the bench, hasn't shot much, but he had nine assists the other night. Mm -hmm. Finding people is the key for him, and you just see the quick cutting Harris, a little kiss, knocked down. Israel's going to send three fresh bodies onto the floor at the next dead ball. Levert. Appling the little nickel, yeah. the little nickel dimer. Now uh, Tom's out to have a chat with Luke Apple, Keith Apple. I didn't think it. Uh, that's all right. Uh, the ability to make plays and the confidence to deliver. Good finish. These teams battled in East Lansing a month ago. Nick Stauskas showcased his shooting guts as he scored 19 while hitting five threes. The Wolverines as a team connected on 11 shots from three-point range. They held off Michigan State 80-75. Michigan, since that game, however, three and three. They've struggled a little bit. Uh, they, and the worst thing I think you can do when you play Michigan State is have a good game, as Stauskas had. Uh, you know, he was solid. There's Derek Walton as well. Uh, you throw in Levert, so those guys, you know Tom's prepared for them and has his guys channeled in that direction. During the timeout, Tom Izzo set three fresh faces onto the floor. Among them, Travis Trice, number 20, who gives Appling a rest. Mm -hmm. Costello was back, and Kenny Kaminsky, the freshman redshirt out of Medina, Ohio, number 30. He's on Levert right now. And he can drill those outside jump shots. Nice back cut by Stauskas. That's his game. Levert. Wow. Whew. Moving without the ball. I think that's escaped Nick Stauskas. You know they worked on that all week. Three-point margin now after the Stauskas, Stauskas slam. Gary Harris, crossover. Switch defensively off the mark. The rim, and there's Kaminsky. Walk when you come down like that. Good rebound. Negate it. That's just pretty basketball at the other end. He, Step and go. Wisely, you just set your man up, and Harris is a great defender, too. He bit and paid. Now Walton, the freshman point guard, comes up. A post-up. Something I think Stassis could do more of. Levert kicks it outside. There's Walton open. Too jacked up, I think, aren't they? Valentine, Gary Harris. Ooh. Boy, he took Ooh. a quick look and canned it again. Deep, but they're playing with a lot of confidence. I think Purdue really got this team back in a groove. Plus having the bodies back, integrating them back. They've missed what he told Tom told about 120 practices, yeah. which to him is key, tuning this team up. They do expect to get Brendan Dawson, who's out to the last. This is his ninth straight game with a miss. Took the pins out of his uh, fractured hand yesterday. He's here on the bench. That's too strong. Into the hands of Gary Harris. So they will be at full strength for the first time in a long time. Wow! Denzel! And not the actor. Doesn't need to act. This is a performance. Boy, shooting him deep and with confidence. They're getting it to him right in the pocket. Valentine has eight. Stauskas gets it from Robinson. Goes for the pick and roll, gets it back. Nice, got it. Nice job by Jordan Morgan. Right away, didn't waste time. Got it right to the dynamite backcourt guy. Six point game, twice. Started four. Fellow went in. I think Tom would have had to hook, got the hook out. That was a tough shot. He thinks he's Doug McDermott with that step back. Castello with a small change. Okay. For all your college basketball scores and news, download the CBS Sports app. Go to cbssports.com slash mobile to get it now. Message and data rates may apply. Robinson heads over and gets uh, some comforting words from John Beeline. That's the second foul on Costello. So he's out. Pain back on the floor, Vern. Yeah. We're going to load up on him a little bit, make him work. Levert. And Stauskas, Walter has it. 
These two, Levert and Stauskas, spent all of last summer here. Mm -hmm. Stauskas gained 16 pounds. Levert, 27 pounds. And everybody teases uh, Karras Ware. <laughs> Good dribble drive and a small change. 11.40 remaining first half. 19-11 Spartans. Nineteen eleven with eleven forty to go first half. Michigan State leads it by eight. And they look very fresh. I think mean, Michigan has to maintain poise, run their sets, keep active without the basketball. Walton Levert. They get away from too much bouncing. I noticed the last couple of trips, particularly Levert. Stagnates the terrific action they usually run. Zach Irvin, two freshmen, on the floor now, number 21. Well, he can stroke it to you. Better not leave him. Catch John and Horford. shoot. Excuse me, Bill. There's John Horford. Can't control it. Now gets it, kicks it back outside. Nice pass. Levert from the corner. Nice. Can't hit it. Horford rebound. Go, go, go. Little dish to Levert. Adjust in the air. Miss. Payne has it, he's gonna run. How about this kid? Rebound and push. No numbers, so he'll slow it down. Appling is back on the floor. That was a tip. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Well, that's just gorgeous basketball, all by Payne. He made that play himself. Brought the ball up, the pass, the little brush, the quick little slip. And how about this action? Power at the 10. Woo! A pain in many areas. <laughs> First team second. Foul is on game. Zach Irvin, his first. Adrian Payne did miss seven games with the injury. His was a foot injury. 12 of 14 conference games, they've been without starters. That's, it's just incredible what they've been able to do. Uh, patchwork, really, and yet right fighting for the championship of the conference regular season. Russell Bird, a redshirt freshman who's been hampered by consistent, persistent foot injuries throughout his career is out. And here's Spike Albrecht on the floor. And Spike did nice things, can make open shots. How about him in the finals, huh? Well, he carved the niche in Wolverine War with 17 points in the first half in the game against Louisville. He's not a scorer normally. Normally. Got the ball in his hands now. Trice guarding him. Just tough with the size. How about Payne in the rear? I beg your pardon. I think that, that sounded terrible. Uh, <laughs> Trice trailing and smart. He does not foul because he has Payne in the right spot. Sometimes you just catch me <laughs> off guard. <laughs> that was innocent, folks. Oh, goodness. It was funny, though. <laughs> nice defense here. Ooh. And they get the five second. Now they got the shot clock violation. Excuse me. Wow. Uh, John Beeline not real happy with things on the offensive end. we talking to him before the game as you did. Energy is what you need. You've got to play tough against Michigan State. Well, they lost their last home game to Wisconsin. Timeout, Michigan. 22-11 here, Michigan State on top. Tomorrow on CBS. Action adventure from start to finish. Don't miss a new episode of Intelligence tomorrow at 10, 9 Central, only CBS. Uh, heating up a little bit here. Uh, Michigan's got to awaken. The Denisons are ready. Now they're inefficient on the offensive end, caused by excellent Michigan State D. Little 1-3-1 one, one wrinkle. Opens up corner jump shots and offensive rebounding. Out on the point, that's Zach Irvin. Get it back in the hands of Appling. Penetrate, kick it back outside. Charge. Offensive foul on Appling. Mm. And they had that either jumper for Harris or the extra pass in the corner to Costello. See if Tom puts him on the bench. Yes, he will. Appling with his second foul. So two fouls now on Costello for the Spartans. And now Appling, so Travis Trice is back on the floor. Appling injured his right wrist in a fall against North Carolina on December 4th. Mm. And it's been a problem for him all year long. Finally forced 
to miss three games, the first three he's ever missed in his wonderful career at Michigan State. That was off the mark. Look at Payne Boy, is he really involved in this game? He's a pain in the air. <laughs> in all areas, uh, once again, shot, nothing change. there. Well, let's uh, take you through some of the injuries. Dawson, 10, broken hand. Adrian Payne was 7. Costello, Kenny Kaminsky was academically related. There's Appling, Gary Harris, and Travis Trice. They have really, you know, after a while, it almost sounds like you're pointing, but it's been a real factor. Uh, it, it tells you the testimony to their depth, too. I mean, to be able to sustain it, maybe not play as efficiently as Tom would like, but deep team right now. I'll tell you what, yesterday chatting with him, he likes this bunch, mm -hmm. especially when they get Dawson back against Illinois next weekend. A nice little back screen pop to the lock low. How do you handle it? No good. Zach Irvin, Levert. Irvin puts it on the deck. Look at Travis Trice. Nice defense. Boy, he's sure he can out. Levert can elevate over him, too. Yeah, he switch back. way a foot and a half. Valentine down the switch. For him. So Valentine on Levert now. Jordan Morgan, number 52, guarded by Payne. You can see Payne can jam things up because Morgan's not going to take that deep one. All right. Yes! There he is. He gathers those puppies. Very confident stroke. Good find as well. Valentine, Trice, Bird, Payne, and Gary Harris on the floor for the Spartans. Little fade, only some activity. Adrian Payne, three. No, not this time. Robinson chases it down. Good transition D here. LeBert has to back away as Bird got down for it. Boy, both teams put pressure on you to recover. Under eight to go, first half. Oops, but he got a high dribble. Nice find, Spike. Harris reverts for three. And the deficit has been cut to five. That gives the Maze Range reason to respond vocally. And the club playing a little more energy because of that. Open man, Irvin. <laughs> Valentine fouled. Mm. Wow, how about the defense setting up the runouts, huh? We talk about all the things Payne can do. You got to be a little tougher with the basketball. Good hands, the run out, the hammer bird in Ann Arbor. Send it in. Now let's bring you up to date statistically 9 of 14. Michigan State really a critical comeback now by the Spartans eight unanswered good to see you again old friend same here you've been busy I'm sure enjoying the offseason well a oh, uh, so tough it's quite fun it, great it football year for you and the SEC fantastic so, sort of similar to the toughness these two teams yeah and some of the football games you did I'm sure and, and I think the one thing Michigan is doing better to get back in, getting into the lane and either finishing or finding people who saw a spike in a lot, and then give, give a look. So you might see more of that. Mentioned again, they're tied in the loss column. Michigan State, one more victory. Made away, no. Tipped. Stauskas back on the floor. He's got it. Little jump stop, and a foul is called on Kaminsky. Good aggressive attack by Robinson. So Harry Stan wasn't a bad player. 
His dad's in the house, as a matter of fact. He said that to both of us last night. Yeah. I saw his dad uh, in the telecast of the Michigan State Purdue game the other night. Big dog. Mm -hmm. I would venture to say, and I don't know, I'm not privy to the conversation between father and son. Right. Would you be more aggressive? You've got talent, and he does. And the dad, one of those guys, a great offensive weapon. Talented guy, whether on the deck or the jump shot. And his son has got, I think, equal, not necessarily talent, but a potential ability that the dad possessed. You know, there are a lot of folks with some talent in the house today. I mentioned Trey Burke is not here, and Israel is joined with uh, Gene Steratore. I saw Zach Novak before the game began, the great Michigan guard. I said, where are you sitting? He says, I'm looking for a better seat. <laughs> Boy, they forget quickly. Uh, they yeah. said, uh, terrific kid, great performer. I think he was a three-year captain here. He yes, he was. I recall. Here's LeBert. Got it. That's inside the line. That's for two. And it's a one-point game. This is where I think Valentine can do some damage with this unit. Stauskas on him defensively. Jumper Kaminsky, not there for him. A nice set play. He fades to the corner, gets a big bump. Walton. Gavin Schilling with a good job. Defensively, number 34. Oh, what a what no a, basket. What a look, though, by yeah. Trice. And the hands in the open floor. Gavin Schilling. Talk about size, strength. They pull it on the floor, rightfully so, but that transition D a little bit lacking. Foul is on Levert, his first. Now Gavin Schilling is on the bench. Twenty-two, twenty-one. Will mentioned his dad lives in Germany. He's a professional handball player there. Mm -hmm. Gavin spent one year of his high school years with his dad. Nice Corner, three. Trice, hit. Bodies fall, but no foul call. That's for three. That's That's three. They do a nice job screening people. That time, Kaminsky nailed the defender. Uh, that puts the plug in 10 unanswered to run for the Wolverines. Back outside, they'll reload. Stauskas. That's where he stops. And the dish. What a nice play. He gets down and gets that shoulder by the defender off the bounce. He's so clever. Finds people and can finish too. From the corner, Valentine. You called it. That Valentine will break your heart. He does a lot of stuff out there. You just had to go there, didn't you? It was just, yeah. you couldn't, it was sitting there. I forgot to get Joe the present, so I'm trying to make up for it. <laughs> Valentine has 11 in the ball game. LeVert, nice hesitation. Robinson with the open look. <laughs> Front rim. Valentine. In the corner. Back outside, Price puts it on the deck. Oh, it's he didn't, tipped by Walton. He didn't realize he was that open, Trice, yeah. you know. Uh, the ability to turn the corner. He gets those shoulder, the shoulder and hand to protect. You just see the ward off and the conclusion. Emphatic. Back to the game now for your Wolverines, number 25. Zach Irvin comes on for Robinson for Michigan. Stauskas. Had a chance to chat with him, his mom, and his lady he calls his second mom last night in the hotel restaurant. That's a three that's not there. Well, they're so excited about him and Canada basketball, too, weren't they? Yes. And very upset about the judging in the ice dance of in Sochi. And you, you can certainly be they have done so much of that over your career. Not for the way. Yeah. yeah. Here's Stauskas again. The freshman, Alvin Ellis III, guards him. Seven on the shot clock. Irvin away off the mark. Great trip defensively. And that's when they get trouble. They get too much bouncing. That's not the beeline attack. 
Good post. Fight underneath. How about Payne kicks it out? Harris, no. Not falling like it did the other night. Ooh, too many people in the area. Tracy Payne. Good hustle. By Ellis. 28-23, 3.15 remaining in Ann Arbor. 28-23, 3.15 to go before the break. And coming up on the AT&T at the half, Greg, Clark, and Seth will have the latest on Syracuse Duke from last night. Nothing to talk about there. Plus a preview of the WGC Accenture Match Play Championship. That's all coming up at the half. Denzel Valentine. How about him? The ability to be a point forward, great feel for the game. Terrific look here. Also can spread deep, knock down, ring it at a bell, and they find him, and he finds them. He's a terrific passer. I think great feel for the game versus dad, former Michigan State great. Wow. Those numbers. There's his father. Yeah. All right, Carl. Carl now, you had a chance, we did, last night to watch that game. <laughs> Let Clark handle this. Oh, come on. I just, Jim yeah. Beheim, well, you know, obviously it was a tough call for him and didn't handle it well the way people uh, normally would. Uh, but I just loved his fervor and fight. And at his age, you know, he's way beyond us and able to had that kind of enthusiasm, but that was a bang banger. I mean, look at the run by the big guy, and who made the pass? Valentine. Valentine. So, listen up. This is important tonight on the Amazing Race. Your favorite teams are back to compete in an All-Star competition, the Amazing Race All-Stars. Syracuse and Duke tonight at 8, 7 Central only. CBS. How about you? You thought it was the right. Call. I did think it was the right. And there call. was a little movement on the replay. However, I think what they should do, and it's pretty simple, if they're going to continue stressing some offense, is when the ball is picked up, as you get, not, not make a move, but once it's picked up, to make the move, I think you can't get in there. And that would really help the officials, I think, and Jim Beheim keep his jacket on. Ah. Well, the play, in case you did miss it last night, 10 seconds to go, C.J. Fair went to the basket, scored it, but they called a charge on him when he was defended by Rodney Hood and Duke. I know, I can't speak for Clark, but I think that's the NBA way of calling, you know, the block charge. There's going to be a foul on Alvin Ellis on the drive to the basket. Alvin Ellis, the third, that's his first. Freshman, first game between these two. Ellis scored 12. I mentioned that to Tom Izzo yes, yesterday. He said, yeah, and he hadn't got close since. <laughs> but, you know, he does have some ability. They're happy about him. Puts it on the deck pretty good. He can catch and shoot threes as a floater. It's a big upside. And they're getting valuable minutes for next year, too. There's Ellis. In and out. And Payne has it. Payne has just become such a force. Mm. Really has. And you can see what well they missed with him. I mean, it puts yeah. pressure on everybody else. He lifts the talent level. Gary Harris, relatively quiet so far. And a blocking foul is going to be called. But Spike Albrecht and Jim, <laughs> Jim, <laughs> Jim Beheim has John Beeline on that block charge. Uh, upset about that call, but I love the split. Mm. Went to the floor hard. Boy, Spike offered it up. Did you just see that move to the right? I think it was the good, the right call. Gary Harris, 80% over the season at the line. Cans that one. Sophomore out of Indiana. He is such a valuable player. Both sides of mm -hmm. the basketball. He steals, uh, guards his guy, blocks shots. Just fills it up. <laughs> Got to get into it quick. They're having a big problem late in the shot clock. Michigan. Levert, Bird's back on the floor guarding him. Nice cross. Oh boy, what? Lingerie on the deck. 
Goodness. Keeps getting better, that kid. Russell Bird needs a uniform adjustment. <laughs> uh, tighten it up. Yeah. 31-26. 142 to go. Here's Harris again. Comes back outside. Ooh. Whoa, he threw that one away. Wow. Good idea. They like to skip the pass when they can, but a little high. One of the morning's most outspoken sports talk teams has been unleashed on a nation. Don't miss Boomer and Carton weekday mornings starting at 6 Eastern on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Under 90 seconds to go now. Stauskas gets it to Levert. Nice show by Payne. Look at this. Got to take him with the dribble. Robinson quickly got it and won. That's the strength. That's the aggressive nature he's got to exhibit. I'm guessing Dad approves that one. I'm sure he does. Oh, well. I'm, he's probably saying, give me a little more. That was Show a rather placid response. Yeah. Well, he's probably churning in the inside, though. Robinson shoots another. No. Payne with another rebound. 108 to go. Here's Price. Timeout. 31-28. Spartans lead. To uh, acquire that package for the network, it was really good. There's Appling, who has played only seven minutes in the half because he picked up his second foul at that point. And, and Vern, you notice this is the first game, I believe, he's played without any wrist bandage, so that's a healthy sign. Just alongside him there, Dane Fife from Indiana Great. Payne. Nice, nice. Good defensive recovery, but Harris gets the basket and will go to the line. And Payne is doing it all. You know, just that size, look at the ability to just reach over people. Nice hesitation. And you talked about Harris' contributions in or out. He's dynamite. Harris about to go to double figures if he can can this free throw. I think Tom wanted a two-for-one deal. Uh, yeah. They, they came out and ran a quick hitter. I would do the same if I were Michigan. A lot of college teams don't do that. They really want a quality shot versus a second one. Robinson back outside to revert. 42 seconds to go. Nice drive. Mm. He knew he could take him. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Russell Bird having some problems defensively right now. Uh, it's easy to do against this guy. Very clever. He's got great hesitation. Look at the great step moves and gather. And the ability to finish as well. Back of the game for Michigan State, number 30. Penny Kaminsky. He said basket is good by Harris Levert. Because you never know he's got 23 and 5, you know, one behind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so intense on that sideline. And a three-point play for Levert. And it's a three-point deficit now. Largest lead was at 22-11, Michigan State. Michigan came back with 10 unanswered to get this thing close. And it has remained so. Payne and Hort, yeah, they got a double foul. I knew it was coming at some point. You've got to back off, use your head. And that's one of those silly ones I don't like to see Adrian Payne have. I mean, this is a little waltz somewhat, at least in Steamboat. <laughs> <laughs> but they've been banging one another there right in front of the officials. And that's Michigan's ball on the possessions. Yeah. Horford and Payne say, what was that all about? Morgan's back on now. John Horford will sit for the remainder of the first half. Michigan State keeps it. And as you see on the right side, three second difference. Game clock, shot clock. And Beeline trying to talk himself into that position arrow. <laughs> Price, Valentine. And look, the 1-3-1, be careful of an offensive rebound. Payne is overplayed by Morgan in the low post. 
Oh my goodness. Over. Wow. Great attack. Boy, he's showing the talent he has. Last shot of that. Ooh, it big. goes. Karis Levert. Help me get to the locker room. Oh, talk about a momentum swinger. Not getting back and not denying a catch and shoot situation. Whew. Pretty darn good. Both were worried about transition D. You can just see Stauska's great chest pass. Nylon! Whew. And the powerfully built Karis Levert. Ring it up, Fern. Couple of heavy hitters combined on that one. And that's the end of the first half. 36-34. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Reese's, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. And by the new LG G2, learning from you. With LG, it's all possible. This fellow's name is Michael Grandiniti. He was the halftime act here. The magic of Michael Grandiniti looks kind of like you and me the when evening. they holler last call. <laughs> <laughs> now let's take a look at the Capital One <laughs> first half stats. There's the key line. Six for Michigan State. One turnover for the Wolverines and that occurred on a shot clock violation midway through the first half. That's been one of the keys to their successful year. Absolutely. Not even only any game, but uh, you can see the fast break points. The big thing with concern for both coaches, getting back and protecting, and Michigan State didn't on the Verts three. That gives them a little momentum. How about Adrian Payne, first half? Uh, he's been solid in all aspects of the game. Finding people on cuts, his ability to soar and dominate. That was a classic two-handed grab and finishing strong, attacking off the bounce with regularity so i would think they'll go to the big fella on a more consistent basis well karis levert above us will inbound now to open the second half terrific first half five of ten from the field including a three-pointer at the buzzer for the wolverines walton stauskas levert robinson and jordan morgan the starting five on the floor for the wolverines Costello, Appling, there's a nice basket. We are tied. Uh, Harris doing a pretty good defensive job. It looks like Staskis put it on that deck, determined. Appling back on the floor, seven minutes in the first half because of the foul trouble. He has two. Payne at the angle. How oh, oh, was that? Bring the house down. Uh, and and they, they got a team. They got a team, right? Aha. Uh -huh. On the jam, I guess holding on a little too long. A lengthy linger. The big fella with the chin up. I saw you do that in the mornings. <laughs> Maybe in the evenings. Uh, just a little extra pizzazz cost him. And that's a tee, but no personal foul. Now uh, here's Stauskas. We mentioned his mother, Ruta, is here with her best friend to watch their son play. It's about a four-hour drive, she told us. That's her on the right side. His dad, Paul, is on a golf vacation down in Orlando. Right. The two guys, they said they're going to give up their second 18 today to watch this game. I think maybe it's just the father giving it up. The other guy's yeah, the other guy, <laughs> he's going solo, right? Well, you can't blame him. That's her friend, Debbie, on the left. She described herself when we met her last night as I'm Nick's second mom. <laughs> they were delightful. We had a really good time chatting with them last night. And they were so proud. They said, you know, I guess Lithuania has asked him to be on the Olympic team, at least the trials. Of course, a Canadian born. Look for him down the road to make that team. 38 37. Here's Stauskas for three off the mark. Nice follow. Oh, Robinson. Oh, my goodness. Hit the underside of the rim. It will be Michigan ball. See, that's what he shows you sneak previews of doing. They're just electrifying ability and reaction. Good pull up. That's something he's really worked hard on. He's out a little bit, playing with some confidence. 
Went for the steal. That's from the corner. Gary Harris, no. Nice, nice offensive board. Costello, and he will shoot one. And that's the toughness that I think Tom Izzo likes for this kid. Big rebound. Crowd not real happy. John not real happy. I think he's more upset about not rebounding. Not sticking the guys. This is something he said today, too, is we're not containing after the initial checkout. we got to box and ride that guy out. Costello is sophomore. That's a three-point play, and Michigan State back on top. And while I think of Mr. B, and Patrick one beat reeling Jesuit. John his alma mater. Yes, that's, that's right. It. I think he's 18 and 10 now, so his team doing great. Stoskis puts it up. Adrian Payne with his seventh rebound in the ball game. Apley hurries all the way to dish to Costello. He wasn't quite ready for it. Give it up. Here's Stoskis. Saves it. Out back outside. Levert. Payne. Eight rebounds. So this is a nice level game, though, Vern. Yeah. Here you can see these are two teams to be reckoned with come March. They move it away from the basket because he's got Morgan on him. Under the entry pass, Costello. Morgan backs up. For Valentine. Wow! A cup job, huh? Well, he does show a little variety in his game. A little strength and power to get by as well. Valentine has 13. Levert. Walton guarded by Appling. Nice pry. Open look. Not there. And Costello might have thrown an elbow. He did. And it's going to be three fouls on Costello. A nice job in the offensive glass. Jordan Morgan creating some space. But right here, again, that little left arm controls the defender. And nobody home at the rim. So the freshman, the Schilling, is getting ready to come on to replace Costello on the floor with three fouls. Here's the back screen. Nice look. Oh, excellent pass. Wow, Stauskas. He's got great vision and great feel for the game. Beautiful back screen set it up. on that particular play. We're going to end up with a back screen. Good, good solid set here. You just see the, this step ups. Just gorgeous basketball. Ball reversal. And Stauskas got the money. If that pass a little bit late, you have no chance to finish it. Let's hope he's okay. Right away going to the wrist. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. An understandable expert from Keith Apple. Eight turnovers now, the only one for Michigan. enjoying it. I love kids who enjoy the pass as much or more than ringing the bell. What a pretty look at Tardy defense. I wish we were nobody back. Walton, Morgan, Robinson, Stauskas, and Levert. They really use the high post screener effectively when they're in their flow. Spin move. Good defense. But they find Robinson. And then Robinson in the correct neighborhood, I might add. Just wonderful penetration by Walden. But to have the confidence that your teammate is going to bail you out with a dive to the 10, that's just great basketball. 
I've heard everybody comment, comments on transition basketball. You can see right running to the rim. Staskis goes to play his guy, but you really got to protect the basket. All the heads turned incorrectly, and they end up with an easy one. But I just love this dribble ability, and then you're going to find an alert cut by Robinson. It's not all about beautiful execution, jump shots, screens. It's all about reading your teammate and bailing them out, and good players find bailouts. And Walton certainly did there. 45-43 assists. Michigan 11, and still with only one turnover. They've had a wonderful year protecting the basketball, but to go just deep in this game with one, and that was a shot clock violation, is something. That ratio is like your bank account on what you carry around. Not me. Valentine gives him that extra penetrator. From the corner, no. That is Kaminsky. That's his shot. Robinson back outside. Now you really got to cover some ground against both these teams. They push it and get set quickly. Well, Valentine's on staff because he's got to keep busy. A little bit of a settle. Valentine with the rebound. And the lead for Gary Harris. Harris, Schilling, Kaminsky. Here's Keith Apple. Catch and release. Nice. Yes, too easy. He didn't even get a bump. He got a little bit of a brush screen. But not very alert defensively for a knockdown jump shooter. Five-point game, 14.30 to go. 15 points for Gary Harris now. Automatic switching on the perimeter. Stauskas, pull up jumper. He, he can elevate over either guard. He's got size and range. And they got a block. Oh, John Beeline is really furious. Thought they were in good shape with Morgan. If he wore a coat during the game, it would be off yeah, right now. Sure. You know, I love, though, right away they decide, let's get somebody else in. Here's the jumper, and I, I believe it's Morgan tries to be in, in good shape on the catch. I'll tell you what, he was established, too. Tough call. You can see, well, John was furious. Morgan has to go to the bench with his third. Uh, now, what would you call this? I'm not sure. Uh, Interesting. I know what coaches would call it. Makeup call? Yeah, maybe. Really? Yeah, look at Tom. I think that's what he said. He's yeah. Chilly. Yeah, even. even. Now. We're even. <laughs> uh, it's like a uh. card game. Uh, I know whose turn. That's what Tom just said. Okay, let's go back to the game. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that was funny. It sure was. Stauskas. He's playing with a lot more confidence now. Knows he can take his guy. Well, uh -oh. so much for that. And he gets the giveaway, which is a good foul. See, they do get stuck dribbling more than I think they're accustomed to doing. Saturday, get an exclusive close-up of what makes the best and brightest stars in coaching when Northwestern Mutual presents NCAA Men of March. Shaka Smart and Billy Donovan. I was lucky enough to talk to Billy Donovan, and the highlight, other than talking to Billy, was a little time with his dad again. Oh, my God. Our, our favorite on the road. Well, we can see him again next week. And Billy was terrific. Gracious, getting to see him work and get into the home. Great family atmosphere. Our crew will be LSU at Florida next week. How about LSU's effort yesterday Ooh. in a loss to Kentucky in overtime? No basket. No basket. I love how animated the coaches are. This is a major test. And you just see the hands, and that's what they're taught to call. So uh, that continuation is what John wants. I'd beg to. Inbounds, John Horford, Robinson. John Beeline saying yesterday that uh, Derek Walton was a starter from the minute he got on campus. Mm -hmm. He keeps scrolling. Plays well with these talented other guys. Look at the strength, huh? Look at that strength. He knows. Owns him physically. Tied again. Wow. Kick out from the corner. Harris for three. 
Rebound, John Horford for the Wolverines. And they want to run. Pull up jumper for three. No. <laughs> Crowd ready to explode. Here comes Adrian Payne. Here comes the counter Valentine. Nice pop. Back to Payne. He's got Harris. Nicely guarded by LeBert. That's a great job defensively. Shot clock at eight. Oh boy. Happen. Miles nice. dragged the foot. Yeah. That's a desperation jumper. Tipped. LeBert has it. What a game he's played. Brock Stauskas in the early. We near the 12 minute mark. Well, once again, the ability to elevate over Apley, that, that is big. That is big. Just too small to guard him. Nice repost by Payne, but better defense. Schilling, no basket. Could be Robinson, I think. Stauska, 16 points, 12 in this half. Our coverage continues after this message and a word from your local station. Indian people, nice flair for the game. The ability to deliver it on time with some regularity. And now he knows he can elevate, plumb bob, get to the rim. 6'6 six, six and change. As you noted earlier, he's gotten so much stronger. Able to put it on the deck and turn the corner. Lighten it up. John Beeline was chatting with us yesterday and said, here's one of the interesting things about Stauskas, the sophomore. Last year, he was not the lead guy. And now he is the man. And so it's a different kind of role. He's still adjusting to that. Well, you can relate to that. You're the man. Now you're right. It's different. Everybody prepares for you. So sure. good. your best defender. And look at that. The timeout. Get a good look. Back up. That's for three again. Not there like mm. it was on, against Purdue. Foul is called underneath. I think Walton with the little slap. What makes Monday TV's best night of comedy? All new episodes of How I Met Your Mother, Two Broke Girls, and Mike and Molly and Mom. It all starts tomorrow at 8, 7 Central, only CBS. They need Payne to play like he did early in the game. Yeah. And start dominating a little bit. I haven't seen him post up, which is a tribute to the inside defense of Michigan. One of two. Nine points, ten rebounds. Five double doubles so far this year. And since he returned from the injury, during which he missed seven games, He's averaging 19 points oh. a game. Stauskas loses control of it. I tell you what, though, he did a great job with the dribble drive. Harris on him that time. Tom not wasting any time to get his premier perimeter defender on him. Third foul on Valentine. Stauskas shoots two. He's an 82% free throw shooter over the course of the year. You would, Brian, huh? Mm -hmm. What's the first thing he mentioned to you last night? Oh, come on. Uh, I hate to bring it up. But He's a movie fan. It's amazing. And these kids saw it this week, the Michigan team. Yeah. Happy. We're referencing Happy Gilmore. It's still there. It's amazing. It's you can't shake gift. it. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Stauskas said, really, and one of the one of the managers at Michigan said, oh, we watched it last night. Well, it's mandatory when you're in the building, don't you think? I get a residual. Yep, I'm she, sure you do. She change. Imagine what Adam Sandler gets. Nice. And they go post up from behind by Horford. That's where I think they ought to put him a little bit, you know, just punish these interior people. Tough defender got his good footwork. That's three on Horford, so the two big veterans 
Horford and Morgan both with three. The Morfords is their call. Tom Wyrot and Dan Dockage as well came up with that. Stowski's guarding the inbound pass. There's Costello. Travis Trice back on the floor, number 20. Gary Harris kicks it out to Trice. Back to Harris. Probing the left side. A jumper off the bank. You know, he got, it should have been a foul, too. You got to protect the shooter. Uh, Harris got out there a little bit late, ran into him, but whew, some Devon assistance. He called it. <laughs> 18 points for Harris. Stauskas. Wow. Well, that is, as you can see, the eyes have lit up. And he has been in a bit of a shooting slump. Mm -hmm. I just think it's partly the length of the season and preparation of other teams and him not being as much in motion. Miss from Harris. Nice feed oh. underneath. Oh, that was so close to being a three-point. That's a great shot right there. Well, things are going good. Great feeling. Michigan State on the all number 10 man Costello. Just four on team six. The line out of shoot two for your Wolverines is Karis Lever. Four on Costello, so he's going to get a place on the bench. That'll bring the freshman Gavin Schilling back on the floor. That's number four for Matt Costello. And right now, Michigan State has to gain control of this game on the offensive end. You know, having their difficulties. Not deploying properly. Maybe some quick shots. Get a couple of ball reversals. Maybe some dribble drives. Valentine as well. Largest lead for Michigan in the game. And that's a four. Valentine. Oh, take it, it again. yourself. Away. Go to the rim there. Once he turned the corner, you, I think he should just go up. He's going to get a foul and maybe a three-point play. Really tough. Tough angle with a curl. They haven't made many mistakes. Stas is with the third receiver, John. Up by alongside, grinding their teeth. They thought they had something on that play. Seventh year as the head coach at Michigan. Final four game last year. So That's highly really regarded good. for the great offensive philosophy they have. You know? Exactly. He developed that philosophy over a 36-year head coaching career. Beginning at LeMoyne. Mm -hmm. Came here from West Virginia, where his son was one of the stars. Well, they can take him. And Bain. One. So I think he can do a lot of damage. And Tom, uh, if this is Morgan, it's four. He got the hip in there. He thinks he stood straight up, and that, that hurts them. Both of your the bigs are having some trouble. It is Morgan, and that's four. So Horford replaces him, playing with three fouls. Under nine to go in the ball game, and a four-point Michigan lead. Now well, turnover and a good foul, believe it or not. Excellent defense, pause the deep throw. Too much air. Eleven turnovers now on Michigan State. The foul called on Adrian Payne. Number two, I think. Or, yes. So Valentine goes to the Michigan State bench. Spike Albrecht is back on the floor for the Wolverines. And we've got a little uh, three-way conversation among the officiating crew. Uh, this was cute. Denzel had his arm around Tom. Then he was explaining the dilemma defensively. That's what's great about this level. Guys have great rapport. That is not team possession on that inbound, and he never possessed it. Well, Gene Steratore just uh, explained the conversation. 
It is not a shooting foul because there was no possession. No possession. Not shooting a one on one. I think Tom is quizzical with that look. Or it feels he got a break. One of the two. Yeah. Wonder if he got breakfast with that look. Stauskas. Again, the size here. Takes the three. There it is. He knows. And so does John Beeline. Tough match. Do you think his mom is glad she drove over from Mississauga? Uh, I would say. That's lesser. And him. Everything you need to make a smart new car decision at KBB.com. Michigan on a 16 to 4 run. And they're up by 7, 59, 52. Bill Rathry, let's take a look at the AT&T Fast Analysis. Well, we've seen some excellent basketball on both ends. they been doing some damage, uh, whether it's attacking the rim. Uh, this guy doing the jump shoot. We talked about their ability to elevate the word around the Big Ten from scouting. Play him small. Yogi Farrell did it in the end. Aaron Kraft did it. But I think once he starts humming and plays with confidence and moves, there's a lot of things Nick Stauskas can do. Only a sophomore. 19 points in this half. 59-52. Again, the significance of this one. These two teams tied at the top with three losses. Yeah, a little 1-3-1 now because they knew Tom Izzo would come out with some set play. This becomes individual and ball movement. Harris, Price. Payne wants it. There's a mismatch underneath. Pretty coverage. Jumper. No. Three Numbers. Two. Right side. Robinson. No. Rebound. Back outside. Albrecht. Open look. Levert. <laughs> Most dangerous offensive rebounding. Look at underneath. You've got Albrecht against Gavin Schiller. Well, that's not a switch. It's helpful for offensive rebounding and shooting over him. But it gives him length on the outside, Vern. Good shot. No. Albrecht. Three on one. Three on two. Nice look. Robinson. Forget In about the it. corner. Levert. that leads to this pass, but right now you try and close out. Strong finish with some strength. How about that? Levert. Of course, the 1-3-1 one, one with the foul problems protected the centers for a couple of trips as well. Another back man. Harris. Payne. Turn and go. Double comes. He shoots it. Off the mark, but he'll go to the free throw line. It might be number four on Horford. Yeah. Yep. 7.02 to root and the ball game. Seventh remaining, that is. I'll get that straight down. <laughs> Both teams shooting 51%. And uh, Michigan State so adept at three-point range in the win over Purdue. Struggling a little bit more today. Look at the turnover margin, though. Terrific value of the basketball. One was a shot clock violation, too. So they've been very sound. And 
I think they're mixing up the defenses have been tough for uh, Michigan State now. They're not what really in the What do the Spartans need to get back in this game? You know, I, I just think Harris has to play a little bit right. now, maybe step up, uh, you know, move Payne around a little bit, uh, post him, see if he can get to the foul line, and then guard. Uh, right now, Stauskas is a monster, as well as Levert. Well, they have, uh, as we've mentioned several times, John Sanderson is the trainer, the strength coach. They spent last summer with him. Boy, you can see it. There's Payne with another miss, and he is usually a very good free throw shooter. Well, they got him a little off his game. High 70, 78 percent. Three of seven tonight. Well, he has really worked long and hard to be a player, though. He is a talented kid, Adrian Payne. Albrecht. Still that match with Appling, so Stauskas now looks to post him. Yep. Appling defending. Here's Levert. Good footwork. Michigan State ball. Wednesday on the season premiere of Survivor, Brawn versus Brains versus Beauty. Three tribes, one unforgettable survivor. Don't miss the season premiere Wednesday at 8, 7 Central, 7 in Steamboat Springs, only in CBS. <laughs> Albrecht. Tough shot. Tough shot. Should have fan driven. Normally he would. At the other end, there's Apple. kicks it in the corner for three. Wow. Out there again, they, Gary Harris. They had Trice in the far corner, wide open with no defender near him. Nickel Dimer. Yep. And Levert, so good. Length with the stretch of the legs. Travis, low by people. Travis Trice, the coach's son. That's his first foul, and Levert goes to the line. Walton will come back on. Replacing Spike Albrecht. Well, he's a valuable addition to this team, Spike, though. You can rest people, you can play them together. You can shoot it, make good decisions. And Tom wants him to speed it up. Ooh. Wow. Valentine. Trice, catch and release. He can do it. That, that he can do. That's why they should have hit him the last trip. Eight-point game, 5.42 to go. Three of the last four here have come down to one point between these two. Stauskas, and a little reach-in foul on Apple. Well, he's ready to use that. That's what they're trying to do, make him catch it further out where he has to use a lot of bounces. Uh, here are the standings coming in today. Both teams with three losses. Wisconsin has uh, turned its season around now. They won over uh, Michigan here a week ago. Iowa, always tough. Ohio State, great conference. It's just a great conference, no question about it. How about Nebraska? Miles big, State. big win at Michigan State. Remember we met him at Colorado State. In Jim the, Miles, the yep. During the tournament, great new building out there. And early in the year, they were struggling. I had him against Creighton. And now they are a different basketball team. Petaway just knocking down shots with people all over it. You want a short list that I've got? Teams you haven't done this year. <laughs> uh, I wish I had done more. Get a feel of the country. Tipped. By Michigan State. Boy, Michigan defense has been terrific. That's the 12th turnover for Tom Izzo's team. They do get six days off now, Michigan State, before they take on Illinois. I mean, Michigan had that week off, and, and they tweaked a little. Look at this strength at the rim and nice hands and help. Yeah, John Beeline wasn't so sure yesterday that the week off was helpful. Mm -hmm. He said he'd rather play two a week. Right, and uh, I think he came through a tough run, though, of, I don't know, five games in 13 days. Exactly. He was upset about. 
But with TV and exposure, uh, you know, you, you, which would you rather? Not be on or not do well? And they're a highlight program. Nice pass. Nobody covered in the back. Total breakdown on rotation. Timeout. Spartans. One of the major problems with college basketball for teams is how to play the ball screen. You can see this big show, but back here, not alert, obviously. But I think you've got to show and play your own man, and that's what Tom Izzo was talking about during that timeout. Tough, tough coverage, and the spread makes it tough with Michigan because they can ring the bell from the corner. At the Chrysler Center in Ann Arbor, this gorgeous college town and this remodeled facility that has, boy, it is really something now. It is. Well, they've got it going. The workout situation, the offices, I mean, it's a state of the art. The arms war continues. I missed that workout room. <laughs> well, that wasn't on my tour. I, I don't want to offend you, but I think you've missed a few of them. <laughs> Uh, one, three, one three one excuse me off the timeout burn Halfway saves it makes you use a lot of clock Levert but it's tipped last by Karis Levert what kind of a game what a hustle play and he is welcome back on the court by the maze rage and that's the length that they have out top so it's very difficult to make a guard to guard pass Jumper, mm, finally. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're gonna get. So single digits now. Harris has 21. Trice picks up. Derek defensively, and here's Stauskas. Nice ball screen, nice hands here. Valentine saved by Robinson. Yes. How quick. Payne. There you go. Nice ball move. They got a reversal. The switch to man. Ineffective because of the big guy. A little pressure applied by the Spartans. Stauskas. Tipped out, saved by Walton. And right now, just mentally more aggressive, more attuned. He's a little clock. And a little more clock. Another turnover. And Michigan turns it right back. Payne is fouled. Horford, that may be five, that is five. Right. Just want to prevent the hoop. But what a job for Stauskas on penetration. You address it defensively, you step up. Valentine sneaks a peek, loses a Robinson. Sure, big time. Championship. Jason Day defeated Ricky Fowler, three up. And Victor Duplessis over Ernie Els, one up. All of you had Victor Duplessis in the field. Congratulations. 61 for Michigan State, 72 Michigan. And now let's take a look at the Capital One Cup impact performance. Uh, he had some guys play great. And Staskis on fire, able to elevate. Plum Bob on jump shots, and his counterpart. Harris, Lavert, the two weight room guys, the physical fitness, Mavens, able to soar big time that play. They were the major difference, plus real good, I thought, Michigan defense. Yes. At the line, Adrian Payne. 
Mm. Got to make these. And this is uh, really surprising. Almost 80% for the year for Adrian Payne. Well, it's, it's, these are help. I mean, you, this is gettable. Play some sound D. Do the donut this trip. Yeah. 2.15 to go. Those donuts don't help. Levert, 21 points, guarded by Gary Harris. Here's Walton, guarded by Travis Trice. And Robinson Valentine with a cheap foul. Yeah, just to give him the spot. Number four, I believe, yeah. too. I don't think he had much choice coming down the stretch. That's the 10th team foul. Well, when you do play Mi uh, Michigan, there's a lot of guys to prepare for. Robinson, you know, certain nights it's that guy, and other nights it's Levert. And of course, the backcourt of Stauskas and Walton have lit it up on occasion, so they have so many options. There's one of two. Look at this hustle. Morgan was the Michigan man in the middle of that mix. And it'll go to uh, Michigan State. Uh, Zach Irvin on for Jordan Morgan now for the Wolverines. I talked to Jordan Morgan last week when I was here. He had been to Africa. And uh, what an experience he said. We talked about the poverty there. Uh, just incredible. And what a great experience. Terrific student getting his graduate work done as well. Right. Basket to Minsky. Still there, still knocking at the door. Just got to be aggressive. Yeah. Got to make stops. Mm. This is what they're known for. The ability to rebound. That's what national titles have been rebounding the last few years. Morgan back on the floor. So also is Ellis the third. Now looking for some speed and coverage. Plus, if you want to get fouls, there's plenty to give right there. Yep. Ellis the third. Of course, uh, one of the stars of this Michigan run a year ago to the championship game, that young man, Mitch McGarry, had back surgery back in January. We had a chance to chat with him before the game. He said he started rehab two and a half weeks ago. It's going to be a slow process, and he wants to make sure that uh, the rehab is complete and thorough. So in all likelihood, he's through for the year. You, you know, the, they missed the obvious with him, but more importantly, the spirit and the enthusiasm. And he is up every occasion. In fact, they had to tone him down on the bench because he would get excited. They're worried about him hurting his back. Well, and seeing him on the bench gives me an opportunity to tell the story again that Mitch McGarry is a youngster delivered his newspapers on a unicycle. <laughs> that alone makes him unique. I would say I would pay a lot to see you on a unicycle. Never gonna happen. Nice guard. Oh, yeah, that was the terrific. Hole. 75 66. Stauskas to Levert. Good job handling the pressure. Uh, they're trying for the steal in the backcourt and then the giveaway here. Probably. There's a familiar face. Ooh. Tim Hardaway Jr. with the New York Knicks. Another of the stars of this team from last year. And, and you, I mean, you mentioned Trey Burke on the open. You figure those yep. two and McGarry not here. This has been terrific for Michigan. Absolutely. I'm intrigued by the fact that, that Trey Burke's mom and dad that made tells, the trip. They over from Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Still loyal to the program. That tells you a lot. The affection they have for John and this school. Uh, you can count them both. 120 to go. Way outside. And way off the mark. This will not be a one-point victory. A terrific second half for the Michigan Wolverines.
Walton. Great help. Boy, empty side coverage. Beautiful by Valentine. Kaminsky in the corner. Harris. Tip is good. Eflin. 34.5 left on the clock. On the left, you'll note that the Spartans have six days before they play Illinois, up, uh, before they face Illinois, and then they've got Iowa at home and at Ohio State, that game on CBS. Michigan at Purdue, Minnesota here at Illinois, and they wind up with Indiana here as these teams try to position themselves for seeding in the Big Ten. No, absolutely uh, terrific run. Minnesota had a solid year under Richard Petito as well, and a little frustration right here. Maybe in pain. Not making free throws up front. That's what he's thinking about. Yeah. And Tom thinking about maybe that bad ball screen coverage. Albrecht on the floor. And a foul called. And the sweep now. This is the updated standings. Michigan with two wins. They swept the Spartans this year. And at the line, Karis LeVert. We'll come tournament time, watch Bo's team. They played great here last week. Bo Ryan's guys. See Spike Albrecht. Here's a the Johnny Munzbach stat of the week. He's now played in excess of 200 minutes in Big Ten play, and he has committed two turnovers. Well, Johnny, by the way, is our official CBS statistician. Absolutely. That people know. That one's off the glass and good. I think Tom's going to call it off. That solid second half. Maybe that momentum booster by Lavert at the end of the half. He ran off. They were overjoyed. Sellout crowd. Exultant in victory. Stauskas had 25. Lavert had 23. This one goes the Wolverine way. In Ann Arbor, our final score is 79-70, Michigan. Coming up next, WGC Accenture Match Play Championship. For Bill Raftery, Bert Lundquist saying goodbye. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the 2014 Men's National Championship.